Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And this article comes to you guys from RCR Wireless. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So this article is from the beginning of the year. That's where we first got the uh, the, the news that T-Mobile is testing six carrier aggregation in the lab. And recently, they also disclosed once again that they are once again still testing six carrier aggregation in the lab. So today, real world, live on the network, four carrier aggregation can be done. The devices are in, in, in people's hands, like the iPhone 15, the Galaxies. And now the newer Galaxy uh, S24, I believe, that one should be able to do five carrier aggregation with the latest chip whenever T-Mobile decides to launch five carrier aggregation. Um, the fact that they're testing six carrier aggregation already in the lab tells me they are very, very close to launching five carrier aggregation commercially. And that would just add an additional carrier to the uh, to the bands like N25, as an example, if that's a combo, I haven't checked, but N25, N71, N41, N41, N66 could now be a reality. That's five carrier aggregation. And then with the six carrier aggregation and seven, seven carrier aggregation, now you're talking about all those bands plus the C band and DOD. So you could do, once you get to seven carrier aggregation, you could do N25, N66, N41, N41, N71, N77, N77. So with T-Mobile devices, or their spectrum portfolio, I should say, we will have to wait until seven carrier aggregation for you to, 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 to combine all these combos and get the max performance. Now, for other markets like mine, where it's even more fragmented, might have to, you know, we might need eight carrier aggregation because we also have AWS-1 and AWS-3. But regardless... It's 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 heading in that direction. We're almost there. Like a six carrier aggregation device will likely release next year. And then the year after we should have that seven carrier aggregation chipset in the devices. And we should be able to get great performing a great performing network with all of that bandwidth, regardless at that time, if it's fragmented or not. Even for me, I should get another, I think, 60 megahertz on air. Once all of that can be aggregated, plus the 80 megahertz and every other uh, AWS one, AWS two, um, PCS, it should make for a great performing network. Even in my market, where N41 is not, you know, as as wide as say, you know, Boston or some of these other areas where it's 180, 190, but it should make for an overall great performing network, regardless. So, just wanted to share that with you guys today. Six carry aggregation is being tested. Um, five carry aggregation seems to be close to launching on the commercial network. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.